Lesson 11. Monitoring Cube Activity. Generally, you will find few performance problems with small databases. As you work with large databases, you can address many potential performance problems by applying one or more strategies designed specifically for coping with large cubes. Partitioning a cube is only a first step. Through trial and error, you will have to determine the appropriate storage mode, aggregation design, and processing options. SQL Server Profiler and the Performance Monitor are useful tools you can use to see what's happening behind the scenes on the analysis server. SQL Server Profiler can capture events from analysis services to help you monitor and troubleshoot performance. Not only can you spot operations that are running slowly, but you can also view the actual MDX and SQL statements that are executed and you can save events for playback later. In order to use SQL Server Profiler, you must be a member of the Analysis Server Server role. By default, local administrators are members of this role. Part 1. Using SQL Server Profiler to Monitor Queries Click Start, Point to All Programs, Point to Microsoft SQL Server, Point to Performance Tools, and then click SQL Server Profiler. On the File menu, click New Trace. In the Server Type drop-down list, click Analysis Services, and then click Connect. Type as trace in the trace name box, and then click run. In SQL Server Management Studio, browse the cube, switch to SQL Server Profiler, and then click the Pause Selected Trace button. Scroll to find the first Query Begin Event class and 0 MDX Query Event subclass, and then click that row. You can see here the text of the MDX query that is sent to the server. In fact, you should notice there are multiple queries logged in the trace. Each time you drag an object on or off the grid in the browser, a new query is executed. Part 2. Using the Performance Monitor There are several analysis services performance counters available that you can use to track performance. These performance tools are organized by object, such as MSAS 2005 colon cache, which represent server resources. You can monitor the current value of counters interactively through the Windows Performance Tool, or you can create performance logs that capture statistics over a period of time. In SQL Server Profiler, select Tools and then click the Performance Monitor. Open SQL Server Management Studio and browse the cube.
switch to the performance window. You can see the CPU usage, green line, and hard disk usage, blue line. You can view the data, and check the chart changes. Part 3. Monitoring a performance counter. In SQL Server Profiler, select Tools and then click the Performance Monitor. Click the New Counter Set button in the toolbar. Right click anywhere in the graph, and then click Add Counters. Click Use Local Computer Counters, and then, in the Performance Object drop-down list, select MSAS 2008, Cache. In the Select Counters from list, select Direct Hit Ratio, and then click Add. Click Close. Open SQL Server Management Studio and browse the data. switch to the performance window. If you have recently browsed this cube, then some data is in memory and raises the value of the ratio. Otherwise, you may see a lower ratio in your graph. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit learnwithvideotutorials.com